We are on page 118 of our roots book. It is said, sid, ses, and it means to sit. Let's start at the top of the page with that paragraph. If you have a sedentary job, you probably sit at a desk all day. If you work assiduously, you literally sit at your work until it's finished. And if you have an insidious habit, it is one that does not seem very bad at first, but that sits in wait for you, ready to become more and more harmful. Let's go ahead and highlight that root and underline its meaning, and we'll start looking at some words. Our first word is assess. Assess is a verb. It comes from the roots ad, meaning to, and sess, meaning to sit. Uh, so literally, it meant to sit near to a judge, as if you were the assistant. We don't really use that meaning as much anymore. Now we use it as to estimate the value of property for taxation. So here it says their property was assessed at a higher rate than formerly. So here you see the two assessors, that will be our next word, assessing a house. They're taking a look at what it looks like inside and out, all of its measurements and everything to give it a value, which allows, um, then allows the, the city or the state to tax a property. There's a second definition here as well, um, to estimate a situation or event. So if you assess a situation, you're making a judgment about what's going on. An assessor is, the, is a noun meaning an official who assesses property for taxation. So here we have two assessors assessing a house, right? Assiduous is an adjective. It means sitting at something until it is finished, persistent. The new clerk was assiduous in performing all his duties. I hope you are all assiduous when you do your homework. All right, insidious is our next word. From the roots in meaning in, and sid meaning to sit. So literally sitting in wait for. Um, this has a really kind of treacherous undertone. So the connotation here is, is very, very negative, okay? So sitting in wait for, treacherous, more dangerous than seems evident. And I'll tell you when I was looking for um, images and things to put here, what kept coming up over and over again is this horror film called Insidious, Insidious that has um, a little boy who is taken over by demons. The house that they're living in, the mom realizes is, has demons that are trying to take over the little boy. Ugh, super scary. I would never see that movie because I hate scary movies, but yeah, apparently that one's super terrifying. So what's insidious about it is that those things are wait, laying in wait in the house um, and they kind of take over. Ooh, creepy. Obsess is our next word. It's a verb. It comes from the root ob, meaning against, and sess, meaning to sit, so to sit against. Um, but we mean to pre preoccupy the mind abnormally or to besiege like an evil spirit. I like that one too. He was obsessed with the fear of failure. Terrifying. Or maybe a little bit more relatable. Mom asks, can you do anything besides obsess over one direction? And you say, I can go like this, like Jack Sparrow does in Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. All right, related is the word obsession. It's a noun, same two roots, ob meaning against and ses meaning to sit. Um, originally, it meant the act of an evil spirit in ruling or sitting against one, right? So the idea that an evil spirit would come take you over. Uh, you'll notice that that came up in the last definition as well, right? It's kind of an older meaning, not really what we look at now. Um, now we would talk more about a persistent idea, desire, or emotion that cannot be got rid of by reasoning. Her desire to act in movies had become an obsession. You'll see here, I put Calvin Klein's obsession perfume here. Uh, there's also obsession for men. The reason that they chose the name obsession is they want to perpetuate this idea that you know, if you wear our perfume or if you wear our cologne, then people won't be able to get you out of their mind. They'll think about you all the time, right? So, preside, a verb. From the roots pre meaning before and sit meaning to sit, so you sit before, right? Specifically, you sit before a meeting and conduct it. The vice president had to preside in the president's absence. I will say usually you don't preside over an empty meeting, but you'll see 
this person sitting at the head of the table, they're going to preside over the meeting. So we're assuming the other people are about to show up. President, noun, one who sits before a group as its head. Same two roots. We waited for the president to state his views. Um, I chose the seal of the president of the United States because that seemed logical. He sits as the head of our country, right? But there's also like a president of the board or a president of a university. So we don't only mean like our president our, of the United States when we use that word. It can mean a lot of different people. Sedative, a noun. Literally a medicine that makes one sit down or quiet down. Um, we use it a little bit more broadly, a medicine that calms nervousness or excitement. Or if we say that you're going to be sedated, they're going to use a sedative um, if they're going to, I don't know, take out a tooth or something like that, right? So that's what we're seeing here. It's actually from the dentist's office. So it's a medicine that helps calm you down. Sedentary uh, is an adjective. It means requiring much sitting. So you'll see here there are a lot of people with sedentary jobs. What kind of jobs? Sedentary jobs. See how it's acting like an adjective? Because he had a sedentary job, he didn't get enough exercise. Something to think about. Sediment. A noun. Sediment is the material that sits at the bottom of a liquid as the sediment in a stream. We noted the sediment in the bottom of the glass. Here's the glass, here's the sediment. You'll see the water's kind of a funny color. Yeah, I wouldn't drink that, FYI. Session. Session is a noun. And it means the sitting together of a group. Um, we also use it a little bit more broadly now. So you can sit for like a session when you have photos taken. So here you see back to school mini sessions. But uh, the sentence here talks about school is in session now. So school's happening. We're all gonna sit down together at school. All right, next word, siege. Siege is a noun. This is one you should be familiar with because we went to Vicksburg last year. Woo woo. Okay. Um, the literary meaning of siege is sitting down before a town with the intention of capturing it, which in the case of Vicksburg fits really well, right? We do have a broader definition that still fits Vicksburg, but also could accommodate other um, possible meanings of siege. So a prolonged attack as of war or illness. Subside. Subside is a verb. Comes from the roots, oh look, we have more roots, yay. Sub meaning under and sid meaning to sit. So literally it means to sit under. Um, we really mean it as to sink to a lower level or to settle down, um, which is kind of the definition I went with when I was making this one. The sentence, after midnight, the noise subsided. So once it hit midnight, the noise went away, sank to a level, lower level, settled down. Or here I have a, a great storm out in the Texas desert. So after the storm subsided, out came a rainbow. Subsidiary, again, that root sub showing up. It's an adjective, serving to assist or supplement, subordinate. Uh, it literally means sitting under, right? So to sit under, we can remember that. So think about it like this, like if this, if the Walt Disney Company is the head, sitting under it or subsidiary to the Walt Disney Company is Walt Disney Pictures or the Disney Channel. So this bigger company owns these smaller ones. So these are subordinate to the bigger company. Okay. Subsidy, noun. From the root sub, under, sid, to sit. Sitting under prices to hold them up. Uh, specifically, this means government financial support. So, uh, the sentence here. When corn prices were low, the farmers received a subsidy. Pretty often, you might hear about, like, on the radio or the news, a farming bill going through Congress. Um, a lot of the time, that relates to subsidies. So the government decides how much they're going to subsidize farming when prices get low. All right, and our last word, supersede. It is a verb. It literally means to sit above because it has the root super in it, meaning above, and said to sit. Um, it really means to take the place of or to displace. Um, and I didn't make this, I, we could have pulled this article up overall, but I just took a shot, a, a shot of it to post here. So connected devices supersede textbooks. This is um, like a blog that this guy wrote about how he feels that connected devices, think like iPads or your iPhone or any kind of smart device or tablet 
would be uh, would be taking the place of textbooks, right? Let's look at our sentence here. Solar heating is superseding other forms of heating in many areas. Those are all of our words for this week. There are quite a few words, um, not too many roots. So in the roots category, we have said, sid, ses, meaning to sit, ad, meaning to, in, meaning in, ob, meaning against, pre, meaning before, sub meaning under and super meaning above. Um, you are responsible for exercise one and my kiddos, I wanna see that Kia before our quiz, okay? Good luck, study hard.